Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel Maths DNA from origin to infinity. Before we go to our question, let me ask you something very interesting. Take away my first letter and I remain the same. Take away my second letter and I remain unchanged. Take away all my letters and I am still exactly the same. Who am I? Find the answer to this question in the end of this video. Today. We are going to solve a question of CSI Net Mathematics December 2019 Part B Real Analysis. The question is: Let less than equals to be usual order on the field R of real numbers. Define an order less than equals to on R square by AB is less than equals to CD if A is less than C or A is equals to C and B is less than equals to D. Consider the subset E is equals to 1 by n, comma 1 minus 1 by n belongs to R2. For n belongs to n. With respect to less than equals to, which of the following statement is true? Option A. Infimum of E is equals to 01 and supremum of E is equals to 10. B. Infimum of E does not exist, but supremum of E is equals to 10. C. Infimum of E is equals to 01, but supremum of E does not exist. And D, both infimum and supremum do not exist. Before solving the question, let us revise some definitions. Upper bound. Let A be an ordered set and X be a subset of A. An element B is called an upper bound for the set X if every element in X is less than or equal to B. Least upper bound or supremum. Let A be an ordered set and X a subset of A. An element B in A is called a least upper bound or supremum for X. If B is an upper bound for X and there is no other upper bound B dash for X that is less than B. Lower bound. Let A be an ordered set and X be a subset of A. An element B is called a lower bound for the set X if every element in X is greater than or equal to B. And greatest lower bound or infimum. Let A be an ordered set and X a subset of A. An element B in A is called the greatest lower bound or infimum for X. If B is a lower bound for X and there is no other lower bound B dash for X that is greater than B. Now solution. Given E is equals to 1 by n, comma 1 minus 1 by n belongs to R2 for n belongs to n. We first find the upper bound. Let x y be an upper bound of E. Then, 1 by n, comma 1 minus 1 by n is less than equals to x y for all n belongs to n, which implies 1 by n is less than x, or 1 by n is equals to x and 1 minus 1 by n is less than equals to y for all n belongs to n. Take n is equals to 1. For 1 by n equals to x and 1 minus 1 by n is less than equals to y, then we get x is equals to 1 and 0 less than equals to y, which gives us 1 comma y for y greater than 0 is an upper bound of E. So upper bounds of E are 1 comma 0, 1 comma 1, 1 comma 2, and so on. And supremum is the least upper bound, which is equals to 1 comma 0. Similarly, for E equals to 1 by n comma 1 minus 1 by n belongs to R2, n belongs to n. Let x y be a lower bound of E. Then x y is less than equals to 1 by n comma 1 minus 1 by n for all n belongs to n, which implies x is less than 1 by n or x is equals to 1 by n and y is less than equals to 1 minus 1 by n for all n belongs to n. Now take n tends to infinity for x equals to 1 by n and y less than equals to 1 minus 1 by n. Then we get x is equals to 0 and y less than equals to 1, which gives us 0 1 is a lower bound of E. We need to check are there any other lower bounds. Consider 0 comma a for a greater than equals to 1 and check whether it is a lower bound or not. If 0 comma a is less than equals to 1 by n comma 1 minus 1 by n for all n belongs to n, then 
जीरो इज लेस देन वन बाय एन और जीरो इज इक्वल टू वन बाय एन एंड ए इज लेस देन इक्वल टू वन माइनस वन बाय एन फॉर ऑल एन बिलोंग्स टू एन फॉर एन बिलोंग्स टू एन जीरो इज ऑलवेज लेस देन वन बाय एन देर फोर जीरो को माए इज एन लोअर बाउंड ऑफ ई देर फोर सेट ऑफ लोअर बाउंड ऑफ ई इज इक्वल टू जीरो कोमा वन जीरो कोमा टू जीरो कोमा थ्री एन सो ऑन देर फोर द ग्रेटेस्ट लोअर बाउंड डज नॉट एग्जिस्ट हेंस द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन बी ऑल्सो द आंसर टू द क्वेश्चन आई आस्ट इन द बिगनिंग इज अ पोस्टमैन और अ पोस्ट ऑफिस थैंक यू Check out other videos in the series over here.